We've been told that this is all game meat. I was told that you were game, and that's why I was here. <laughs> well, shall we find out what game is yes. for all of our sakes? Game meat is meat from an animal that is typically found in the wild, not raised domestically on a farm for mass consumption. Game animals are usually free roaming, foragers and hunted for their meat. Game can generally be sorted into three categories. Winged game, pheasant, quail, etc. Ground game, rabbit, hare, etc. Big game, bison, venison, elk, etc. We tried some of that in America, in Kentucky yes. last year. Now we're going to have a big game. Let's have a big game. Right, here we go. That is not big game. That is winged game. It's a little bird, isn't it? A little dark chicken. A little duck, I was going to say. Yep. OK, should we have a clue? Yeah. Trafalgar Square. That gives it away. Yep. Should we All see right. it cooked? Yep. Oh! Ooh. Let's eat it. It's quite a dry meat. Mine's very chewy. Yeah. Is it Ooh. always like this or has Chris just done a really bad job? <laughs> it sits for me somewhere between chicken and duck. 100%. It's darker than chicken, but it's not as dark and as rich in flavour as duck is. Yeah, chewier than chicken, definitely. Yeah. It's got more of a bounce. It's got more to it than chicken, but it's not flavourful, I would say. Yeah, it tastes like chicken with a little bit of red meat mixed in, doesn't it? Yeah, like a pork steak. Yeah. It's almost like that. It's very nice. Right, three, two, one. Pigeon. What are you doing? <laughs> All I've done, and I'm not cheating, I've just withdrawn the D. So you had a pigeon? I had a pigeon. And then I looked at it, I was like, that's not right. <laughs> this is wood pigeon. One point each. Yes. So wood pigeon is accessible throughout the year and feeds our appetite for sustainably and locally sourced meat. Despite its name, the wood pigeon is adapted to most environments across the country, eating a variety of foods, mainly crops, seeds and berries. They do gorge a little more on acorns and wild fruits throughout the autumn, so are more plump and flavoursome within this time. They're not the grey pigeons that we do like that we see on Trafalgar Square, well, are they? Jay, the wood pigeon is distinctly different from that of its cousin, the feral pigeon. Wood pigeons are larger and distinguished by the broad white bars on their wings. If a feral pigeon was a person, it would only drink in Weatherspoons. <laughs> yeah, it's my kind of pigeon. <laughs> it's my kind of pigeon. Great, well we both got a point. That's a point each. Yes. Numero two. Let's do it. Oh, Whoa, that no, is... that's a whole animal. This has got four legs. You can see the rib cage. It looks like a demigorgon without a head. Yeah. I think I've got an idea of what that is. Actually, so do I. Please, can we see it cooked? Yeah. Ooh, that oh, that is... I was not expecting that. That's changed my opinion entirely. Mm. The strips look densely packed. Almost... It's very beefy. That's the most mainstream meat that I can think that it compares to just on looks. It smells like a rabbit hutch. Very similar to liver. Yeah. Almost irony, metallic. Very irony. From a texture perspective, that's fantastic. I'm not a big fan of the flavour. It's, it's too intense for me. Yeah, it feels awfully. Do you want to mix things up a bit? Oh. I think if you make a guess before the clue, you get two points if you get it right. And if you get it correct after hearing the clue, it's one point. I'm going to write something down. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do the same. Oh, we're changing I'm... the game. We're changing the... <laughs> okay. Ready to reveal? Ready to reveal. Three, two, one. Hair. 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 <laughs> It looks like a big rabbit, but rabbit is nowhere near that dark. This is the point where we read the clue and go, <laughs> damn. The Mad Hatter. Okay. And the March Hare. Leverets, hares under one years old, 
can be roasted, but many people prefer slow cooking to tenderize the back legs. And older hairs should always be slow cooked. Isn't that funny? The heir to the hair is actually called a leveret. <laughs> really lean, so adding some fats such as bacon, yogurt, cream, coconut milk helps ensure tender and delicious results. Coconut milk. They become less common nationally, but can be sourced sustainably from East Anglia and other areas with high population densities where they cause considerable crop damage if not controlled. So this is slow braised leg. Oh. I can get behind that. I am completely different. I think mean, lose so the intensity different. of the minerality of the flavour. Like a drier duck. Yeah, just not gone in the pond. Just not gone in the pond, pond yeah. Just not gone in the pond. <laughs> that is delicious. I was nearly against hair until I tried a slow braised leg. You see hair on the menu? Are you ordering it? I would definitely order that again. 100%. I've been converted between trying the same animal but just two different parts and cooking methods. Yeah. Three all. Three all. Okay. Uh -huh. Winged game. <laughs> <laughs> It's a small bird. Mm. It's a small, dark bird. I'm none the wiser. Yeah, same, same. Let's see it cooked. Chapeau. That is so ducky. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's way beyond me. That is intense. Michael, I don't like that. No, I'm not sure I do either. <laughs> that mineral flavour right at the end. It started like duck, and then yeah. it just, the volume just went bo 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 Wow. Now, we do have a clue. Yeah. But if we can guess what it is, lock in our answer without looking at the clue, we're going to get two points. I like that. I'm just going to have to write something down. Yeah, same. Great. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Partridge. Partridge. It does have a D. Yeah. Let's find out. You ready? This is partridge. Yes. With their mild and Moorish flavour. I, th I thought it was intense. <laughs> partridge is an ideal introduction to game. What? Partridge is slightly sweeter than pheasant, but both are gently flavoured. That is not a gateway game. No. Versatile and easy to cook, it is a staple for many throughout the autumn and winter. As they freeze so well, they can also be used in place of chicken for lean and nutritious meals in the warmer months too. Whole partridges are superb roasted, and as they're smaller birds, you'll need to allow one per person. I didn't like it. I really enjoyed it at the beginning, and then I felt like it went very- It got hard, Intensely didn't it? ducky. Yeah. Is the only way I can- Describe it. We always end each section with a little pun or one-liner, don't we? I would say, if this is your first time eating winged game, leave this one in the pear tree and try something milder. <laughs> if you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Oh, it's splayed. <laughs> this is ground game, isn't it? It's, it's not, not winged, winged and it's not big, so this is ground game. If wears his trousers really low. Yeah. He's got empty hammer trousers on. Shall we have a look at it cooked? Yeah. It feels like there's hardly any meat on it. Yeah. It doesn't feel worth it. And I mean like I mean that in terms of it doesn't feel worth killing the animal to eat it when there's that little meat. Yeah, there. I know what you mean. There's hardly anything on it. Should we try? Yeah. It strips away quite nicely. Cheers. Oh, there's some hairs on it. <laughs> It's like jerky. Dry and chewy. It tastes funky. It tastes like 
we shouldn't be eating it. Yeah, I agree. It tastes like something that you have to eat because you're in a forest with no other food around. And stuck with Bear Grylls who's forcing you to crossbow one of those. Yeah, whilst drinking your own urine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. I think I know what it is. Really? Yeah. And I'm worried if, that, if I'm correct. Well, I'm gonna write something down. I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to write this down. I... <laughs> We're definitely gonna learn some lessons with this video. Before I reveal my answer, I'm gonna to have to apologise to everyone with kids that's watching this. Why, what have you drawn? <laughs> it's not what I've drawn, it's what I've written. Oh no. Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Guinea pig. Squirrel. <gasps> squirrel! It looks like a squirrel, doesn't it? Or... I thought guinea pig because I know that guinea pig is eaten in Peru. Yeah. Like it's a delicacy. Yeah, that's a good shout actually. The legs have just been spread. Read it. This is squirrel. You were right. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, until recently, squirrels were rarely eaten in the UK. Now, growing numbers of chefs and home cooks seeking out sustainable alternatives to farmed meats regularly enjoy its sweet and nutty flavour. Its light coloured meat tastes like a subtler version of rabbit with a finer texture. Squirrels are most tender when cooked low and slow. What a sentence! There you go, what there's one for that? the barbecue, mate. <laughs> one for the smoker. Ensure your recipe includes bacon, chorizo, cream, butter or any other source of fat. That sounds like it would be right up my street. Yeah. But I don't know if I can get on board with it. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't offended by the flavour at all. Um, it was very chewy and there's just not a huge amount of meat on it. Do you know what? I wouldn't be against going into a restaurant and trying it as part of a dish instead of just slow cooked to see how it works with other flavours. I think it's just one to get your head around. It is. Well look, Kush has just told us that it isn't an expensive meat to buy. Mm -hmm. So what I was going to say was that if you want to give this a try, you don't have to squirrel away your money to be able to afford the newest trend in game. That was a corny pun. And that's why we're here, right? Look like, at that synergy. Yeah, I liked it, I liked it. <laughs> oh, it's another mini bird. <laughs> Do you want to sniff it? <laughs> I mean, not particularly. Why are you sniffing the bum? I don't know. It smells like raw poultry. Well, we're going to have to open that. I don't... Ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Why is it holding the berries? <laughs> This looks like the leg of a bird that would wear a top hat and a monocle. Yeah. What bird is that? I don't know. Long gangly legs. Do we eat it? Come on. The berry's still there. Know where your food is from. Chips. I like this one. Yeah. Actually. I think it's a milder game bird. It's Trust. like a cross between chicken and duck. I'm going to try some breast. It's a whiter breast meat. Dark meat is really tasty. Really like that. Yeah. Mm, the breast is really interesting. It Ooh. starts off like chicken breast, but then you get some of the minerality, some of the gaminess through it. It, but it's still a very white meat. Yeah, but it's like a crust between the white and the dark meat in flavour. Yeah. But in a breast. That is really yummy. No idea what this is. I might have to Wikipedia birds. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I've run out. It's like when we play the street food country game. I always yeah, run out of run countries. Out of What's my logic here? Oh. I'm really struggling. If it was a toucan, we would have kept the beak, right? <laughs> Are you writing the Latin down? Three, two, two one. one. Guinea fowl. Guinea fowl. Guinea fowl? Yeah. Should we find out? Grouse. 
Grouse is widely revered as the finest game bird of them all. It is Absolutely tasty. well done. You earned it, Grouse. Thanks to its inimitable rich flavour. Young birds are best savoured roasted, while flavourful older birds are excellent pot roasted or casseroled. Grouse can hold up to strong flavours, making them ideal choices for curry, stir, fries, tagines, as well as simple suppers. I have never had grouse before. I forgot it was a bird, and therefore would have never guessed it. No, literally only thought of grouse on the front of a bottle of whiskey. In terms of the flavour and the texture, it's like all the best of the white and dark meats of poultry. Yeah with the best texture you've ever had in poultry. Yeah. Why haven't we had that before? Don't know. Or why haven't we had more of it? I love it, the fact that we've got to try it. You know that we're not posh enough to have grouse. Yes. And we grew up near where like, the Cockneys live. Yeah. If I was to say that you should have grass in your ass. <laughs> I'd say yes. <laughs> Ready? Very ready. What is that? Is it a bird? No. No? It's a f***ing hamster. I, what? I don't even know. I can't think of an animal that looks like that. Is it a so turtle without its shell? <laughs> it's a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to reveal the cooked one because this isn't right, helping. Ready? Me. Yeah. That doesn't help either. Ooh. It's like scaly. It's really dark on the underside. I think it looks tasty. Ooh. Don't like that. It's so intense. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, I don't like that. It gives me the shivers. Oh, gosh, it keeps going. Oh, it tastes so dark. That is like the liveriest liver I've ever tasted. The texture is like undercooked chicken. <laughs> yeah, I am not a fan. Let's take the clue. Not blue, not green, but... What? Doesn't help me at all. I don't know. We got a lot one in. Right. Three, two, one. Guinea. He hedgehog. Guinea. <laughs> I just really want a hedgehog to look like that underneath all of its spikes. <laughs> Let's find out. Not blue, not green, but teal. Teal is the smallest of all the wild ducks, but often considered the most exquisite in texture and flavour. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> As with all the whole wild ducks, cooking couldn't be simpler. Roast in the oven, make a nice gravy from the juices. Wild duck has less fat and stronger flavour than farm duck. Yes, it ducking does. And a richness that lends itself to a variety of dishes. The breast fillets are superb, pan fried. Did you know teal was a bird? No idea. I've heard of it as a colour. Yeah. I yeah. can't see it properly. <laughs> that might as well be called aquamarine. I like... should have guessed turquoise. <laughs> Never heard of that. If I saw it on a restaurant menu, maybe I would get it. If but I no, saw... not if I'm paying for it. If I saw that on a menu, at least I now know what that is. If you're into a game, then that's probably right up your alley because that is intense. So final scores are in and I take the win! <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm proud. <laughs> I've pretty much embarrassed myself throughout. You played a better game than I. But it was a fun game. It was a fun game. Got any tealy puns? You can't teal tar opinions on it, but if you get a chance to give it a go, I would. Okay, here's one. If you like a cheeky little duck in the evenings, teal is good quack. <laughs> Shall I get the bill? Oh. Speaking of webbed feet, when's Baz back? <laughs> Well, over to you guys. Did you guess any of those? Let us know in the comments down below and give this video a like if you liked it and laughed along. I can't, I have nothing else to say. No. no.